Retail sales coming in a bit firmer than expected, 0.2%. The previous number it was 1.6. This is for October, month on month. We were looking for 0%, so a bit firmer than expected, but much, much lower from the previous month, which is revised higher to 1.9%. So that's retail sales dealt with. Let's whip through CPI, shall we? 0.1% is the print month on month for CPI. Back out food and energy, it comes in at 0.2. Both of those numbers bang in line with what was expected year on year we come at 2%, bang in line with what was expected, a drop from 2.2. And if you back out food and energy on the year-on-year -year number, a little bit firmer at 1.8%. Though more broadly, Alex, the story we were kind of expecting. Yeah, and what's interesting, if you look at some of the details here, you have uh, housing costs were a big factor in helping boost the CPI there, up by th three-tenths of 1%. Uh, medical was also up. And importantly, you had used car sales were actually up seven-tenths of 1%. That ends nine months of declines that had been a wait uh, earlier. So so on the margin, kind of a little bit of support there uh, for the inflation data. I just want to whip through what the market's doing off the back of this. Largely unmoved if you're looking at 10-year treasuries. We were already down about three or four basis points on a 10-year yield. We stay there. We tick just a little bit higher. But 234 is how we trade on the 10-year. I want to check out the FX market. A lot of euro strength over the last week. It's meant some dollar weakness given the weighting in the dollar index. We're still lower by about a quarter of 1%. So the data, not really a big move from what we were expecting. Michael Gape and Barclays and Anne Lester of JP Morgan Asset Management still with us. Michael, the hurricane effect, how it influenced the previous month's numbers and the read we just got. Just walk us through it. Right, so you see it both in CPI and retail sales. So last, last month we had a big boost in, in energy at the headline level, which pushed headline CPI higher. That came off this month. I think what you're seeing there at the core, as you mentioned, shelter, strength and shelter is not a new story, so I think that's, that's fine. Um, the used car story is probably a hurricane response. We had a surge in, in autos in, in the September, October period. It likely bled down into used car sales. I think the market will look through the unexpected surprise in core if they think it's driven by, by autos. Retail sales, the, as you mentioned, the very strong above 1% print last month that was driven by, um, by both the surge in gas gasoline prices, so you'd see that prices at the pump went higher, yeah. but also auto sales were really strong the last uh, last month. Coming off of that is, is why the headline is, is weaker, but underneath core is okay.